So there's a new slicer visual in the October 2024 update to Power BI, it looks like this right here. To me, it's kind of a combination of the classic slicer where you could have the hierarchies and the new button slicer. So you essentially have both the hierarchy and the buttons. You can select a thing, it'll select everything under it. You can deselect things. If you hold control, you can select individual items from the slicer. And it's got the accent bar on it. So if you're using accent bars and say your card visuals, it'll fit in pretty nicely. And then if we go into the settings, we have option to turn on select all. So that shows up at the top here. We can choose our shape, rounded rectangle, which I guess doesn't work very well with the accent bar. We can adjust the corner size. And this customized style option appears to let you set the curvature for the individual corners. And then we have an option for snip tab. And then under layout, there's this option for fixed number of buttons shown. This is essentially how many are showing at a time without the scroll bar. So if I turn this off, it tries to cram them all in without a scroll. So only use that if you have a small number of buttons. You can choose the number of buttons. So this basically is gonna increase the size as we reduce this. And I don't see an option for vertical alignment of text. So when you start getting kind of small, it starts looking a little funky, but I'm assuming that'll get added at some point here. You can set the space between the buttons and the indentation. You can choose the overflow so we can do continuous scroll or paginated. So paginated essentially gives the behavior of the classic slicer buttons where you could page through like that. Call out values is gonna be the text that's showing on the buttons. So if you turn it off, you have no button text, which I guess if you're using like a background image or something for your buttons, you could do that. You can turn on text wrap here, but be careful with this because it doesn't automatically know how tall to make your buttons, right? So it's gonna cut off some text if you don't have them sized properly. The selection icon gives you a radio button. So I would probably turn off the little expand collapse button if I were using this. Having both is kind of weird looking. And then the expand collapse icon, that's the little kind of triangle shape here. You can set the color on that. You can choose your padding. So this is going to be your left and right padding because the top and bottom padding are going to be controlled by the number of buttons you have um, visible at a time. And then you can change the border color and fill. So fill has the option for conditional formatting, which is interesting. So you could potentially color code these based on rules or measures. Background image, you could use this to add icons potentially. And drop shadow, if I turn this on, it looks like you need to kind of work with your button sizing. So reduce the number that you're showing at a time because this has some padding built into it. So glow, it's like a diffuse drop shadow. And then we have our accent bar. So this also lets you do conditional formatting and that's kind of cool. And you can choose the position. So you could do top, bottom, that's a little bit busy, but you get the idea. So to get this, you need to have the October 2024 version of Power BI Desktop, and you need to turn it on as a preview feature. So that's in the file menu, options and settings, options, preview features, and then make sure the box is checked next to this list slicer visual. It'll be off by default because it's a preview feature. So that's everything. Let me know what you think in the comments and have a great day.